Halloween archway DIY for you. Since this is our first Halloween being spent together, you and me, I wanted to kick it off with a bang. There is a much easier way to execute what you're about to see in this video, but I need to fill you in on the human that I live with. Paul loves everything decor wise for the holidays. He loves looking at it. He does not like putting it up and he does not like taking it down. Paul isn't a handy man. Paul's a skateboarding man. He's a working man, but he's not a handy man. The condition he gave me for this archway was I could not drill into the archway like supporting screws to wrap wire around to make sure that those pieces of PVC don't move because where we live it gets so ridiculously windy I was like oh I need to support it with wire to make sure that thing doesn't shake or things rip off. Paul was not having it. He did not want me to drill into the archway and have the stucco come off. So I had to think of a way to secure it without drilling into the archway which maybe to you guys it doesn't seem like a big deal but it would have made life so much easier. Let's just get started. I, I need to be done talking. You are going to need a ton of craft pumpkins. That way it lasts the entire time since they're fake. And when I say a ton, I mean an absolute ton for this archway. Paul and I had two full grocery carts. Now you need to carve every single pumpkin. Set those aside and I'm gonna show you how to build the structure for it. You're going to need two longer pieces of PVC. Mine were seven feet, as you see here. And then I have four connectors connecting all the PVC and I have three shorter pieces, three foot pieces of PVC to create the arch. And all of this will be secured in these two terracotta pots. So again, you'll need two longer pieces of PVC for your sides, four little connectors, and then three shorter pieces of PVC for the archway. Of course, I spray painted mine black and then I flipped them over and I put a piece of foil on the bottom so the glue that you're about to see won't leak onto the floor when it's drying. My PVC fit perfectly in the hole in the bottom of the pot, so then I just glued it to secure it and I'm kind of weird and I put rocks to make sure while it was gluing it stayed straight. Once the Gorilla Glue was dry, I filled the entire pot with sand. I patted it down and leveled it out and then I topped it with moss so it added a little spooky detail to the front. You're about to see me load pumpkins onto the side of this archway and that is because I detached these three pieces. Once the sides are loaded, then we're gonna put the angled pieces on and load those up with pumpkins and then finish with the top piece. I promise it'll make sense. This part is also gonna be messy because now we're gonna start putting the pumpkins on the PVC. Every pumpkin's gonna have two holes because that's how you're gonna slide it onto the PVC pipe. So either drill or cut a hole at the angle of your choice. You're gonna slide those all the way down to the bottom and then you're just gonna simply stack the rest of the pumpkins on top by doing the same thing, drilling into each and every one and sliding those on top of each other. I'm gonna show you an easy way to make it look like they're floating in case you didn't wanna stack them on top of each other all the way to the top. You just take two zip ties and zip those directly onto where you want the pumpkin to rest. Cut off the excess of the zip ties and then you can take any kind of construction glue. I used wood glue and it worked out perfectly and you're just gonna simply coat it so those zip ties don't move. If the wood drips, that's totally okay because you're going to cover it up with a garland and then you're just going to slide that pumpkin down to where those zip ties are and let it rest. It will dry and there you go. Now that I have the side pieces done, I'm moving to the angled pieces. So now I'm going to connect the angled pieces. Put your connector on and your angled piece and repeat the same steps that you just did with the longer pieces by sliding the pumpkins on it. Then repeat the same thing with the very top piece as well. Grab some garland from your local craft store and then begin to wrap it around the entire fixture. Side note, these are 60% off at Michael's right now. Now you get to go in and fill in where that pipe is, so don't stress if you can see the pipe because the garland's gonna completely cover it and make the pumpkins look like they're almost floating. And then you can also go back and fluff out the leaves a little bit so it covers that chain and it looks more realistic. Either string lights through the back of the pumpkins or you can do what I did and I bought electric candles because I wanted the flame to look more realistic when they were lit up and then all you do is pop one or two of those candles in each and every jack-o-lantern it is a little bit time-consuming but it's so worth it 
I know my candle way seems a little bit more difficult, but it is so worth it. Just look how awesome those look when they are flickering as if you do have a candle in them. That's one way to make a festive Halloween archway for your house. I know I'm gonna get comments down below like how come you did this, how come you did that, and I, I'm just gonna try to hit some of the key ones right now. So number one, I would have put a piece of wood on the bottom of that terracotta pot and I would have put a piece of wood on the outside of the bottom of the terracotta pot and screwed it into each other if that makes sense because that's gonna give you so much support so it doesn't topple over. My dad actually gave me that idea. The second thing that I would have done differently is I would have double built the PVC archway so there would have been two archways but I'm just gonna link a really 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 useful blog post down below that will show you how they mirrored it and they used wood and reinforcement because they could stick it right into the ground and now I'm getting out of control but just look at the link below for another idea like another a more supportive way to execute this. The third thing Thing I would have done differently is I wish I would have researched just click on and click off light. I'm really stoked that I chose the candles because it does look realistic, but it is a fucking bitch to go through and take every single candle out and turn it on and turn it off. And I know that none of that sounds fun to you guys. So if you want to, like I said, just drill a hole in the back of the pumpkin, pop a little light through, and then you can plug it in. That, that way it's easy to turn on and off at night. But I really do like how the candles turned out. If you guys are not yet a subscriber, go ahead and click around and join the family. Follow me outside of this YouTube bubble to see what the hell is going on in my life. Well, all my social media links are going to be linked below for you. Leave some comments, tell me what you guys would have done differently on this project, suggestions for other people just in case they start to attempt this. Also comment down below some Halloween DIYs you guys want to see, whether it's desserts, home projects, decor, party planning, anything. That is going to be it for me today, you guys. I will see you next Wednesday.